Unit 8. Biomechanics and Sports. After completing the study of the unit, you will be able to understand Newton's law of motion and its application in sports. Recognize the concept of equilibrium and its application in sports. Classify lever and its application in sports. Know about the center of gravity and will be able to apply it in sports. Define friction and application in sports. And understand the concept of projectile in sports. Laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton implied three laws, 1687, of motion which are explained below. Law of inertia. It is the first law of motion. According to it, a body at rest will remain at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion at the same speed and on the same direction unless some external force is applied. Law of Acceleration It is the second law of motion. According to it, a change in acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force producing it and inversely proportional to its mass. This means that the change in speed of an object is directly proportional to the force applied on it. This is in straight line to the force applied on it. Law of Reaction This is the third law of motion. According to it, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Types of levers and their application in sports Lever is a rigid bar which is capable of rotating about a fixed point called the fulcrum. Levers are normally used to make physical work easier, for example, to make it easier to move something that is heavy, or to move something quickly. When we exercise most of our movements will involve the use of levers. For example, when we run, lift weights, kick or throw a ball, all of these actions will involve the use of levers. A lever system within the body would use a lever, bone, to move an object. For example, when we run we are the object being moved, but when kicking a ball, the object being moved is the ball. All lever systems are made up of four components. The load. The fulcrum. The effort. And the lever. The load is the object requiring moving. The effort is the muscular force we use to move the object. The fulcrum is the joint around which the movement occurs and the bones of the skeleton are the levers. If asked to sketch a diagram of a lever system, you would need to include all four parts. Types of lever. Class 1 lever. A first class lever has the fulcrum located between the force and the resistance. Example seesaw, a pair of scissors, bicycle brake. Roving, in roving, application of the force on the oars at the axis. Class 2 lever. A second class lever has the load or resistance located between the fulcrum and the force. Example wheelbarrow, punching machine straight push-ups, calisthenics, lifting of legs from the ground, etc. Class 3 Lever A third class lever has the force located between the fulcrum and the resistance. Example Baseball bat, tennis racket, boat paddles, curling of biceps, etc. Few examples of lever application in sports are 1. Cricket bat Second class, the fulcrum is the top of the handle, the load is the bat's body, and the force is closer to the neck of the handle. 2. Kicking lower limb, third class, the fulcrum at the knee joint, force at tibial tuberosity, attachment of the quadriceps, load is the foot. 3. Jumping plantar flexion of the foot, second class, the load is at the toes, the fulcrum is at the heel and force is your weight which is anterior to your heel. 4. Looking up down or side to side, first class, your head is balanced on your atlantocipital joint, which pivots, similarly to a seesaw.
Equilibrium Equilibrium is a state in which opposing forces or influences are balanced equal. The state of equilibrium is when all the forces acting on the body are counterbalanced by equal and opposite forces, so that the sum of the forces may equal zero. Equilibrium occurs when the body's center of gravity is over its base of support and the line of gravity falls within the base. Type of Equilibrium Equilibrium is of two kinds. Number 1. Dynamic Equilibrium Keeping balance of the body while doing various physical activities is called dynamic equilibrium. For example, when someone is running or doing a cartwheel in gymnastic. As motion is the main part of most of the sports, equilibrium is a must for getting success and for doing activities in an efficient manner. And Number 2 Static Equilibrium When the center of gravity is in static position, it is static equilibrium. It is a must for static equilibrium that the center of gravity of body should be inside fulcrum. For example, doing handstand in the beginning of floor events in gymnastics is static position. Center of gravity and its application in sports. Center of gravity is an imaginary point around which the body or an object is balanced. It can be within or outside the body and depends on a person's shape. In basketball, during a jump a player swings both arms forward and upward to assist in gaining height. Friction and sports According to the first law of motion, a stationary object will remain stationary and a dynamic object will move in the same direction and at the same speed. This is because there is an invisible force that opposes the movement of ball, wheel, javelin, etc. Friction is the opposite force which generates between two surfaces when there arises movement. Generally, there are two reasons of friction. First is the roughness or irregularity and the second is the strong atomic or molecular forces of attraction between the two surfaces at the points of actual contact. Types of friction In static friction body is in stationary position. Number 1. Static friction The opposite force applied when an object begins to move towards the surface of the other object but the actual movement has not yet started. It is called static friction. Number 2. Dynamic friction the force applied when an object actually begins to move towards the surface of the other object in actuality. It can be of two kinds. A. Sliding friction. When an object begins to slide on the surface of the other object, it is called sliding friction. And B. Rolling friction. When a thing in actually begins to roll on the surface of the other, it is called rolling friction. Projectile When a thing is pushed upward or thrown upward and it remains in motion independently, it is called projectile. The path covered by a projectile is called parabola which takes place due to two powers gravitational force and air resistance force. There are many examples regarding this in sports kicking a football, throwing shot put, hammer throw and javelin throw, long jump etc. Factors affecting projectile trajectory If we don't accept air resistance force and friction, the following factors affect the flight of an object, athlete, hammer, shot put, ball, javelin etc. or projectile trajectory. 1. Angle of projection 2. Projection speed 3. Projection height relevant to the landing surface 4. The projection height. 5. Gravitational force. And 6. Air resistance. 1. Angle of projection. When a thing is thrown upward in the sky, it affects the projectile trajectory of that thing. 
For example, if we throw a thing at an angle of 90 degree, it returns to a place from where it was thrown. It is recommended to release an object at the angle of 45 degree. 2. Projection speed The distance covered by an object depends upon projection speed. If the initial speed is low, the thing will cover little distance. If the speed is more, the thing will definitely cover a long speed. 3. Projection height relevant to the landing surface The distance of horizon depends upon the relevancy of projection height and landing surface. If the level of landing surface is more than projection height, the angle of projection shall be increased. For obtaining maximum distance in javelin throw, thrower holds the ball from the top so that may cover more distance. 4. The projection height The difference between projection height and landing surface is called projection height. If projection height and landing surface are the same, the object should be thrown at an angle of 45 degrees so that it may cover the maximum distance. If projection height is more than landing surface, the angle of projection should be increased from 45 degrees. 5. Gravitational force It is a well-known fact that we are able to walk on Earth due to the force of gravity because this force pulls everything on the Earth towards it. The thing which is going away returns to the Earth again. The more weight an object has, the sooner it returns. In other words, this force affects the distance height being covered by a projectile. 6. Air resistance When a thing is in motion at its destination, air resistance may reduce its speed because air resistance reduces horizontal component equivalent to the projectile of a thing. If a thing is smooth, air resistance on the surface will be less. If the surface is rough, air resistance on the surface will be more.